I've told Kurt I've come out here to have a chat on my vlog, but he has no idea <laughs> what I'm up to. No, it's all good. I'm just running upstairs. <laughs> Double checking it to get your message that I'm on my way. I have arrived. All happening. <laughs> Change my battery. My battery's about to die. Got to figure out what Kurt is. Okay, call Kurt. Oh, it's here, babes. It's here. Hey, hun. Oh, I'm gonna show you something. It's me. Is it what? Going forward, I'll be looking after everything to do with Kurt Dara's car. I tried to phone, but they said you weren't in today. I'm actually pretending we can't get it, and I'm going to surprise him with it. Okay, guys, I've currently snuck outside. I've told Kurt I've come out here to have a chat on my vlog, but he has no idea <laughs> what I'm up to. So, flashback, probably the last month I'd say Kurt's been just browsing, having a little flick through at a new car. I told him to message them, see where they're located. Problem was they were located eight hours away and to get the exact car that he wanted here, we had to get it shipped and pay like an extra fee and all these other bits and pieces. Anyways, I told him it was too hard and not to worry about the car just yet. I said, let's just wait a few more months, wait until the new year or middle of next year and then we'll look at getting a car. For those of you guys that don't know, when Kurt actually stopped plumbing about five months ago, he had many perks in his job and one of them was that he had a work car. And at that time, mum and dad were kind enough to lend us their car, which has been amazing and I've gotten so much use out of it although it's not a car that is going to last long a it's done 350,000 kilometers and b it's not very safe it's not a car that i would feel safe putting the kids in okay i'm in goodbye i'll be right i can drive it's not manual as long as it's not manual i'm all right bye handbrake's different too yes yeah, <laughs> go away so nice mum and dad have got like a spare car and because we've been going to and from the shop heaps, mum and dad the other day were just like, we'll just leave our spare car here. So if we want to borrow it, um, cause half the time it's just like sitting there not being used. They're like, you guys can just use it. So, so nice of them. And it's like already been so handy. Plus they do still need it back. They have it as like a spare car. So say if like my sister comes up or if my mum's needing a second car, they do still use it. So it's not something that they've like given us to have. It's just something like in the meantime until we find another car, which has been so lovely. But with Miller starting school, next year and Regan and Lincoln's daycare being in a completely different location to Miller's school I feel like us having two cars would be really really handy. Cody has been working his butt off he has honestly brought our business leaps and bounds like I could not have gotten it to the position he has how quickly he's done it um, the last few months and I'm just so proud of him although you guys know I'm not a big car person I'm not into cars like I honestly could not care less what I drive um, I know that it's something that really excites him and makes him happy. He has no idea he thinks that I've told the car dealership people that we can't go ahead with it and to forget about it but what I've actually done is just paid a deposit so it's going to take around about one to two weeks to get here so it's still a little while away I think it's time before Miss Miller starts school next year to get one organized get one sorted so I'm really excited to surprise him with a new car I'll shoot up a couple of bits and pieces and then um, I'll give you a call back in about half hour make sure you've received that as well sweet thank you Perfect. Thanks, Bye. Awesome. No worries. And do you know roughly um, when it will turn up, or you just let us know once you sort it out on your end? Um, I will get Charles to call yourself. Yep. Um, so that way, um, that way uh, we don't spoil the surprise as well. Yeah, cool. That's what I was going to say because I'm surprising him. It'll just be good if I can figure out when it's kind of going to turn up. Oh, of course. Yeah. Of course. Sweet. Leave, leave, leave that one with me. Cool. Thanks so much for that. 
That's all right. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate Thank it. you. Thank Bye. You. Good, thanks. How are you? Not too bad, not too bad. Is that turn around, Eddie? No, it's all good. I'm just running upstairs. <laughs> all right, all good. I just wanted to let you know that everything is all approved. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to organise to get some paperwork across to you. Yep. And um, I'm going to sign that all for today. Yep. And, um, I'll get Charles to give you a bell tomorrow to organise when we'd be able to get the vehicle uh, trucked up with your bell as well. Awesome, thank you so much. Okay, and if you have any questions, you can give me a call, but I won't give you a bell tomorrow. Okay, sweet. Perfect, thanks. Gary. Okay, thanks so much for that. My pleasure, take care. Bye. Bye. I got the car, I got the car. the car I just got the phone call we've got it it's ours tomorrow they're gonna let us know when it's gonna be getting shipped we're actually out of the wedding tomorrow so I was like can we please organize um to talk on probably Thursday now so a couple more days away but oh my gosh I'm so excited it's coming Friday it is Friday here today and I have got a bit of running around to do so with getting this new car I need to go to the RTA and change the registration of the car from the dealership into my name so I've got to go to the RTA get some RMS form I don't even know what all this stuff means but I've got the paperwork that they've asked for got everything ready to go gonna go into the RTA get it all sorted and I've also officially got a date. So looks like they'll be able to get the car here on the 15th of December. It's a bit later than what they thought. They initially thought that it would probably take around about a week or two, and that's about two and a half weeks. So one good thing is it's wrapped for Christmas, so it's perfect time to kind of surprise him. But the annoying thing is I'm literally so bad at keeping surprises, and I just can't wait for him to find out. Well, you guys are not going to believe this. I am back here again. So I came here, walked in, and there was nothing, no information online at all to say that I needed 100 points of ID. I thought all I needed was my license. I need to go home, get my, probably cover this up, birth certificate, passport. Um, so take two. I literally had to come here, then drive 20 minutes home, 20 minutes back again. After lining up, they're like, you don't have enough ID. <laughs> So hopefully now, all it said on the forms was that I needed um, proof of our company registration, which I've got, but anyways, hopefully it's done after this. And I think this is officially the last thing of paperwork I have to do as well. There is so much paperwork involved. So I think after this, that's it, it's done. It's just literally waiting for it to come. I hope so anyway, because yeah, it's a pain. Oh my gosh, guys, I am literally, oh, I wish I was joking. I have just ran around half the day to get all the right paperwork, make sure I had everything. And I knew on the paperwork, I was like, I know I'm right because I read it over like three times. And if anyone is a Virgo like me, you will know. I triple check everything. Anyways, walked in there, I even questioned, I was like, are you sure? I, like, it doesn't say anywhere that I need all the, all the documentation. I walked over to the lady at the counter and she was like, what do you have your birth certificate and passport for? You don't need that, all I need is driver's license. I was like, freaking hell. Anyway, it's all sorted, it's all done, car is on its way. I probably won't see you guys now until the day that it is turning up. Hi. Oh my gosh, guys, K Regi Girl's just woken up. I've just gotten a voice message. I never answer like unknown numbers, and I just listened to it. I think the car's coming like now. Kurt has just gone out of the house with Lincoln to go buy a bike seat for Regi Girl. He has no idea at all. I think it's coming. Did I say bike or car? I don't know. I don't even know. I'm, ah. Are you gonna be a good girl? But have a listen, this is what I just got. Just double checking if they gave you a message that I'm on my way. I have arrived. 
Uh, sorry, I forgot to call you when I left Balwana. Um, I'm right here at uh, the BP. If you can call me back as oh. soon as possible, thanks. Bye. Oh my gosh, he's literally coming right now. Okay, let's call him. This is so. This is guys like three days early. It's three days early. <laughs> this worked out so well, but. Hey. Hello. Hi, I just had a missed call from you. Yeah, I'm um, sorry. I, I made a big blunder. I forgot to call you about an hour away <laughs> from you. That's no I'm, worries. I'm here with your car. Yeah, awesome. Um, where can we meet? How fast can you get to BP? To BP? I don't have... Um, so is it getting delivered to our house? But the thing is, I've got other cars on the truck and the area has a lot of trees. Okay. So, yeah, what I'm doing now is I'm actually trying to get to you. Uh, I'm actually driving towards you now. Okay. On the main road. With yeah. The that, with the hope that I don't have to worry about the trees. Uh, hang on a second. Okay. Because um, my partner, I'm surprising him. He's out now with our other car and I'm at home with the kids. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to try, try and get as close as I can to you. Yeah. Uh, with the hope that there is no trees that are going to stop me along the way. Okay. Small roads. Okay. Uh, yeah, because I made a, a big blunder. I should have actually double checked that they told you that I'm on my way. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, um, we'll um, see how you go. Get stuck, I will call you. Sounds good, and I can see if I can try to work something out. But um, let me know how you go. That is like such lucky timing, except I am surprising him three days early. I had like a whole video planned that I wanted to do on the day that it turned up. But you know what? Now it's surprising me too. So the car's probably gonna turn up like five minutes before Kurt gets home. So it'll literally like turn up and then Kurt will be like, what the hell? I wanted to surprise him with the keys and say like, Merry Christmas. Um, but I guess he's gonna pull up and just see the car there or getting um, moved off the back of the truck. I actually might quickly call my mum and see if she can come give me a hand because I think this is gonna be hectic. We also like live on a little service road. I don't think he's gonna be able to get down here. Oh my gosh, good girl, Riggs. Good girl. You just went to phone, don't you? Hey, Mum. Yeah? Okay. This is like really last minute. So the car's supposed to turn up on Wednesday. Kurt's gone out with Lincoln. It's turning up right now. Oh. It's coming, but um, I was just wondering if you were around at all because Kurt's going to be turning up like five minutes after it. Sorry. That's all right. No, so, don't be sorry. It was so last minute. I can't believe it. They just called and like, yeah, we're just like finding your street right now. I'm like, oh my God, he's going to be home in a second too. Anyway, it's all good. I've literally got my pajama pants on. I'm not changing. I've got a baby here. This is just what it is. Maybe I should try my sister. Maybe I should try my sister. All right, see if she's around. Hello. Hey, this is really random. Are you around? Yes. Um, so I don't even think I've told you yet, but I'm surprising Kurt with a car for Christmas. Oh, what? They've just called me. It was meant to turn up on Wednesday. They've just called me and they're like, yeah, we're like five minutes away. Kurt's like five minutes behind them about to turn up. And I've got the kids here, but I wanted to be able to be out there and surprise him. Oh, do you want me to pop down? Is that okay? Yeah. Oh my God, you're a lifesaver. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. No worries. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh my gosh. All, all happening. <laughs> Change my battery. My battery's about to die. Gotta figure out what Kurt is. Okay, cool Kurt. I'm gonna get him to stop on the way and get Maccas for the kids to like give myself another 10 minutes. <sighs> come on, pick up, pick up, pick up. Oh my gosh, Regan's about to eat the dog food. Literally, should probably change out my pajama pants. Okay. <laughs> Fire, he's not answering. Answer. Oh, he's still at Tweed. Yes. It's like I'm just getting the bike. Yes. It's all good. Hey, Daddy's car's about to turn up, Miller. You know how I bought him a car for Christmas? His car's about to turn up. Okay. They'll be home soon. Too soon. Come on, Riggs. Come on. Okay. I've got pants on. I'm not actually dressed in my pajamas anymore. I'm about to surprise Daddy with a new car. Remember how I showed you the car and said you got to keep it a secret? And you were so good. You didn't even tell him once, did you? You were so good. And Auntie Tatey's gonna come over and play with you on Regi while I surprise Daddy with the car. Auntie Tatey. Yeah, she's gonna come over. She is a lifesaver. She, I owe you, Tate. I owe you. Oh, it's the car! It's here, babes, it's here. It's here, it's here, it's here. This one, Miller. 
car. This is it right here. That's driving off. That's it. That is new car. How do you think we surprise Daddy with it? What do you think we do? Do you reckon we just like wait out the front and give him the key, or do you reckon we go hide it somewhere? What do we do? I don't know. I didn't have time to plan for this, Miller. It's three days early. Okay, we've made a plan. We've made a plan. Let's go inside, quick. Let's go hide from Daddy. Don't say anything, okay, Miller? So what's gonna happen is, Tate, my sister, is gonna take the car, and she's gonna come when he gets home, I'm gonna call her and say, oh, Tate's just in the bathroom. She's popped in to say hi. Um, she's gonna come drop me the keys, and then I'm gonna go walk him in the keys to the car, and then get his reaction when he walks out. Oh, we got a plan. Okay, we're back. We're back, babe. Oh, I'm just gonna tell Daddy not to worry about the McDonald's so he can get here sooner. McDonald's? Yeah, we can go get it in Daddy's car. When he gets back, we, we'll go for another drive. Right hey, babe. Um, I was just gonna say, don't worry about the Maccas. I've got heaps of food here. We just did the groceries this week. Yeah, sweet. Okie dokie. How far away are you? Um, just, uh, I'm just going past Maccas. Okay, so you'll be like 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Reggie girl was just hectic before. That's why I had to rush to hang up the phone. But we're back. She's just hungry, so I'm just gonna make her some food. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, this is hard work, isn't it, Miller? I need to get Reggie girl some food. Are you hungry? Oh, yummy. <laughs> That's what you wanted. You wanted some food. Annabelle? Baby Annabelle, that's it. Okay, I'm gonna get the text message ready so I can just like literally send it. We've been planning something for so long. It's so, like I feel really nervous now. I feel so much pressure. The day is here. Do you want water? 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 No, no, okay, all right, I hear you. I hear you. Oh my gosh, babe. Oh my gosh, babe. Wait till you watch the vlog back. Everything was just happening at once. Oh my gosh. Oh, just like Tate's popped in and then she's running back to grab Cordy and then it's all good. They're riding their bikes up. He just got breathing for a minute. She's been cracking. I've just fed her those chickens in the air fryer. I think she's just got to pick up her keys and go, so I've got to have her keys for her. You got a new helmet. Oh my goodness, that is so cool, Link. But yeah, Reed is just cracking it whenever I walk out, so warn you. I told him I'm going to give you his, your keys. I was like, Tate, just run back because Cordy's. Can I switch sweet, over? Sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. All right, I'll be back in a sec. Hey, hon. Oh, I've got to show you something. Merry Christmas. Oh, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I was like, what if it was a <laughs> What is going on? Oh, that looks nice. Look <laughs> at me. <laughs> is it mine? It's yours. Waiting, how hot is it? This is that good. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. 
Oh, oh this is like so it. hectic. Oh, I'm going to spend a bit of time in here today. <laughs> <laughs> this is fully <laughs> hectic. <laughs> I want to like look through everything. I'm going to have to send a photo to your mum and dad. Your mum and dad know you, you're getting it. Today? They don't know you get it today. But oh, they know it's coming. It's... They thought it was, I literally only found out like 10 minutes ago. Oh, that's so hectic that, that how they it did that. It was, so, the video is that funny, wait till you watch it back. But I was like, you're acting so weird. This is the biggest surprise ever, but <laughs> <laughs> like, what the f I'm so glad that you're in oh, your car. Oh, I don't even smile for fun. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. But I was like, what is going on? Like, I just couldn't. Thought I was angry at you for no, no I was, reason. And I was like, what is going on? Like, oh, I was trying, that. I was trying so hard to try to come up with every excuse to make you stay. And then I was like, okay, now TT driving in circles. Now I need you to come home. Like I had all different things. There was so much going on. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Kurt is very happy. So that makes I'm me happy. I'm very happy. <laughs> um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.